Well, grab your Orioles gear. It's time again to cheer on the birds. In just over 24 hours, the O's will take the field at Camden Yards as the ballpark celebrates 30 years. What O's fans can expect at the home opener and beyond. Hello everyone, I'm Jason Newton. Welcome to 11 TV Hill. The birds, they're back in town. They're rebuilt in full swing, but getting to this home opener wasn't easy this season. A lockout delayed the start of spring training and led to the cancellation of some games, but that's all behind us now as the O's and others can now play ball. As always, fans have some new names, new concessions, all to set their eyes and taste buds on, and they'll be enjoying it all in the confines of the ballpark that changed the game for parks of the future. It's the 30th anniversary of Oriole Park, which has been the blueprint around the league. And we'll talk about its history and the facelift that it got out in left field. And speaking of the field, that's where we'll start this morning. The action that fans are set to enjoy. And join us now, our old friend Brett Hollander. Good to see you, man. Great to see you, Jason. Great to be back. Baseball is back as well in a big way here in Baltimore. The 30th anniversary of Camden Yards. I think both of us are old enough to remember that first game there. <laughs> first game there, I think you and I both go back to 33rd Street. The way we do. <laughs> now at 333 West Camden Street, and it's a birthday of sorts. And I think we welcome back this season normalcy, our love affair with baseball. And we get to do that with the 30th celebration of Camden Yards. I think it's pretty special. It's got to be special to call the game for you and to have been a kid at some of those first games. I mean, does it, does it mean something yeah. special to the you? The minute I walked into Camden Yards, I think the light bulb really popped in my head and this love affair for baseball and the Orioles. And so often I would go to Camden Yards and I'm watching the game, but I'm also kind of looking up at the press box and yeah. the radio booth and the TV booth and imagining myself there one day. And sure. I got to experience a lot of that here at WBAL, but it really has been a dream fulfilled. Uh, really calling Orioles games and, and doing it at Camden Yards. Fans right now, what they're experiencing is how to be patient. <laughs> We're going through a rebuild right now, and it's tough to say, you know, if you're hopeful or not, but at least is it going as planned, does it seem, from the booth? I, I think it is. I think the needle's been moving a little bit. Last year, I thought was a big step forward with Cedric Mullins, who had the mm -hmm. first 30 stolen base, 30 home run season in the history of Orioles baseball, which, uh, as you know, Jason, has so many legends and sure. Hall of Famers as a part of that. And then Ryan Mountcastle, who set an Orioles home run record as a rookie with 33, he passed on that list uh, Cal Ripken and Eddie Murray. So wow. those are some pretty big names he was chasing down, hit 33 homers wow. as a rookie. That's a really big number. We were all holding our breath with Rutschman when that first uh, injury report came out. He's okay. He's okay. We'll see when he actually starts playing games again. And then the big countdown will start. When will he be at Oriole Park at Camden Yards? I think it will be in the first half of this season. We'll see how he progresses with this injury. But that will almost be, in my mind, like a second opening day because yeah. the anticipation for baseball's best prospect and in some ways, the face of the Orioles franchise sure. at such a young age, I think will be an enormous day in Orioles history. Obviously, there's some names that people just won't know <laughs> right now. Anybody you key in on that, that folks should at least just keep an eye on throughout the season? Well, I'm excited about a number of players. There's a young infielder named Jorge Mateo who okay. might be one of the fastest players in baseball. Came up last year and was very impressive in a limited time. But you mentioned Adley Rutschman. There'll be more rookies making their debut yeah. this season along those lines. Grayson Rodriguez, who's maybe the best pitching prospect in baseball. Others like D.L. Hall and Kyle Bradish. So I think we'll see kind of a line of young Orioles prospects make their yes. debut throughout the season. I heard some diehards really getting excited about the minors. They said, listen, if it doesn't work out at Camden right now, go to a Bay Sox game or go over to Salisbury and watch the show. Well, the Orioles are a great tradition in, in, in Baltimore and in Maryland, but so are all those minor league franchises yeah. that have been around for a long, long time. And that is where the future is for the Orioles. And it's almost undisputed right now that the Orioles have the best farm system in all of baseball. So the future is coming. Yeah. It's been tough at times over the last few years, but some of those pieces are in place right now. We talked about Cedric Mullins and Ryan Mountcastle, but also uh, John Means and what he did yeah. last year. He threw a no-hitter. That has not happened much in the history yeah. of Orioles baseball. And there are a lot of other intriguing players who are already here who I think are a part of tomorrow's next winning and competitive Orioles club. What's the thinking behind the move in left field? I mean, we've all seen the pictures now, the, the trucks out there. They even moved some seats out. If you're, if you're taking seats away, it must be important yeah. to, to make this change. I think it's interesting, and it's going to be fun to see it play out. A, a couple of things. One is... I think it takes a lot of pressure off Orioles pitchers yeah. because Camden Yards has historically been a very hitter-friendly ballpark. Mm -hmm. As you know, Jason, oh, yeah. <laughs> there's some big bats in the American League yeah. East. It's not easy going through that Yankees lineup, that Blue Jays lineup, and that Red Sox lineup. I think it makes it a more attractive destination for future Orioles pitchers and free agents of tomorrow to look at Camden Yards as a viable home option for them. But I think it adds a lot of intrigue 
to the ballpark because yeah. it demands more athleticism in center and left field, which really plays into the Orioles' hands right now. You'll see a lot more doubles. You'll see a lot more triples. Oh, okay. And I think you'll see some really interesting moments late in games when an outfielder has to make a decision. Do I dive for that ball or do I play it on a bounce? If yeah. it gets by me, that's going to roll for a while. Camden Yards has historically played pretty much without quirks. And now there's a pretty interesting quirk in left field and left center. Does it make it more attractive for a free agent pitcher who says, I'm not going there because my number is going to be ridiculous with that short fence. Does it make it attractive for them? To I think in? it helps. I mean, there are and have been over the last 30 years some, shall we say, cheap home runs at Camden <laughs> Yards down the left Can field line it over the and, to, <laughs> and to left center. Yeah. I mean, I, over the years, I've heard Mike Mucin and so many others you know, complain that, especially when it gets hot and humid, yeah. uh, you can you can hit it out and not make great contact. So I think it does help. I think it really helps developing young pitchers, sure. which is really the test of this franchise right now. When we see Grayson Rodriguez and D.L. Hall and so many other yeah. young pitching prospects get here, I think it takes some heat off them to have that wall back a little bit. I, I can't make you call, like, who's going to win, who's going to lose. But, I mean, do you think we move up in the standings a little bit? I, I think they're better this year. I think it's yeah. a lot more fun. I think they'll be a lot more competitive. I mean, the team talent-wise – will be much better at the end of this 2022 season, and it won't even be close. Okay. I mean, you'll see so many of these top prospects uh, get to Baltimore. Now, I want to remind fans, we've seen a lot of top prospects get here, and there are going to be times of struggle. It's sure. hard to play Major League Baseball, <laughs> yeah. so I hope there's some patience there. But I think in time, we'll see them become regulars and hopefully some All-Stars. All right, if you're excited, I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's I'm always it. excited for baseball <laughs> and Orioles baseball, Jason. Good to see you, Brett. Thank Great you, to man. see you. Appreciate it.